All right, guys, welcome back. This is the set of carbs, flat side carbs for the 800. They are pretty nasty. Um, they're kind of dusty right now, but uh, they're definitely dirty. Hoping I can get them closer to that. That would be nice. I think I'm going to need a Sonic, what is that, a supersonic cleaner um, to clean all the parts and... But I'll see what soda does to it. I'm just going to stick it in there like this and hit it with some soda blast and then go from there. Hopefully I won't have to do too much after it, after that. So I did check the specs on the mains and the mains are supposed to be 450 and there's 420 in here. But Arctic Cat jetted pretty rich so... I think the 420s should be good. I was thinking 430s, and I have a set of 430s. So between that and the Boyce and Reeds, the Boyce and Reeds allow you to go down like 10. So 420 might be a good place to be. So we'll see. So I just wanted to show you what they look like. Um, there's a lot more parts to these than the, the round slides. So, But not a big deal. We'll go ahead and dive into them and uh, see what we can do with them. I did already drain the fuel. Uh, I blew into these tubes as well. That way, there's you know nothing after when these were drain plugs were off. So we'll see how it goes. All right. All right. So I just got these out of the soda blaster, and although I got a lot of dirt off them, they still have this like I don't know what it is. It's like a staining or something. I'm not sure how to get that off. I did watch a you fellow YouTuber that put his in a supersonic cleaner. So I think that's what it would take really to get all that garbage off of there. So um, I miss little spots like, like that. It was kind of hard to see. But um, they definitely, you know, it's, I don't know if you can tell in the video but they're definitely brighter wasn't quite like I was hoping but from what I've seen in the, the supersonic cleaners they can get a lot of this stuff right here out sorry stuff like this so I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do I'm going to figure something out, though. So I will probably end up... I'm going to take... Separate these two. Looks like there's... Obviously, this is the center supply valve. It's just a T. Uh, I'm sure there's some type of O-rings in there. And then... I don't know if this will just slip off. I know for sure that you can undo... The this bolt and this bolt here. I don't know if the throttle rod here will. They look pretty sync. Let me see if I can get some video here or some uh, light in here. Yeah, they look like they're synced up just fine. I don't know if you have to sync these. I don't know if these are similar or not as far as having to sync them. Like the other ones, because the other the round slides have separate throttle cables. This has just one right there. So I'm not sure if there's an adjustment for those or not. There's a throttle. That's the limiter right there. How far you can go. That's probably the idle right here. These, I'm assuming, are air. 
air fuel ratio air ratio air to fuel ratio doesn't seem like there's obviously this is these are for the chokes one two yeah it looks like that's all it is that's pretty simple sweet I thought there was going to be more to it but now that I'm looking at it seems pretty cut and dry that's the way to do it though one throttle cable you got your idle adjustment here and then your air your air to fuel ratio schools all right so i'm gonna go ahead and uh, start tearing these apart and make sure everything's good and then i'll be back so this is the pto side carburetor pretty darn sweet setup but um yeah it's it's you know not bad not too bad on the inside um get all the parts and stuff uh out what i am going to do is i am going to heat i'm gonna soak the parts that i can in a pot of hot water mixed with simple green and I'm going to get that to where it steams and I'm going to soak it for, I don't know, maybe half hour or so. And then pull it out and hopefully it's uh, pretty clean by then. And then I'll be able to soda blast any extra stuff off of it. Because, I mean, you can see, you know, there's spots where I couldn't get to. Uh, the spring right here, pretty dirty on the inside of this little uh, sheath here. So, all right, I'm going to do that and then I'll be back. I just wanted to start with one at first because I've never tore into these before. <clears throat> these actually started to get pretty clean, so I'm going to go ahead and hit these soda blast again. And uh, that'll polish those up, make those look good. Uh, the rest of it, though, looks pretty good so far. So I will be back once I get this stuff out of the parts washer. All right, that's both carbs. Everything is cleaned. I ended up taking the carbs and I hit them once a soda blast, and then I did. I simmered them in a pot with hot water and some cleaner. Didn't have an ultrasonic cleaner for you. That was the best, next best thing. Um, so everything's been cleaned. I polished up both of these because they were kind of like a dull aluminum color. Um, spring's been polished. This was all rusty right here. So that turned out really nice. I ended up uh, polishing that up. Don't worry. I got the marks. And for the, uh, the TPS there. Um, these two posts didn't need to be polished. Uh, everything else, like I said, has been soda blast. The only thing that I will need to replace here are these little rubber washers here. These are for the air mixture screws. And so that one's not horrible, but it looks like they were offset. So I'm just going to go ahead and get new ones anyways. I should be able to pick those up at Menards. I got a bunch of rubber washers out there. Menards are like Ace Hardware or something like that. But everything else looks good. All the gaskets and everything look good. So, yeah, it turned out pretty nice. That is probably the nicest spot. But the rest of it looks a lot better than it did before. So that's it. Um, I'll start putting these together. And then I'll show you what the outcome is. All right.
good to go. Almost there. Team got spark plugs now. All right, guys, welcome back. I'm just getting uh, some thermal tape ready to put on the injection oil tank here. I already cleaned it up. Uh, I already made a couple pieces here. I mean, this stuff's not wide enough, so it's going to have to be done in pieces. No big deal. So that's what I have so far. I figured I would just go ahead and, uh, you know, put this stuff on. And they used to just completely cover these things, but um, now they actually put pieces on there that fit a little better. So that's what we're going to do. Funny how even just add new thermal tape will really change the look of a project like this. Just adds that extra dimension of <clears throat> contrast and oh cleanliness. Almost thought I had a clutch today. Contacted this shop and asked them if they had one. They said, hold on a minute. They came back and they said, yep, we actually have one. And I asked them how it looked. Had any cracks, anything like that. Said, nope, everything looked good. Just doesn't have weights or a spring. And it was a fixed pin. So I thought, all right, for the price, he only wanted a hundred bucks from it. I figured, you know what? Shoot, I'll go ahead and get it. And then uh, I'll use my spring and just have to get the, the weights. No big deal. Well, I get there, he pulls it out, and we start looking at it. Lo and behold, it had a big, like, I mean, it, gosh, had to be like an inch and a half crack in it, in the, the inner sheave. What are you going to do? So he told me he'd look and see if there was any other parts, any, uh, another 33 millimeter base inner sheave in the back and then if there was he'd put put it to get he'd take that one apart and replace the 33 millimeter inner sheave portion and uh hook me up so we'll see sucks because it's like i can't start the engine until i get that the only thing left i need really after installation is um 
just to, and I, I mean, it's not something I need to do, but it's something I'm gonna do, is to sandblast and paint the, uh, the um, expansion pipe and muffler. Which isn't really a big deal. I can get that done in a few hours. Do another quick test fit. Alright, so I'm going to go a little further over here. Like that. There it is. All right, not bad. Yeah, I get a little crazy about stuff. I'm big on aesthetics, but I'm going for an original look, why not? Get all this old crap out of here. So that's it. A couple layers, no big deal. So now I just need to get uh, together a bolt here. This is a longer one. And then I'll go ahead and uh, install it and bring it back. Let you let you guys take a look. All right, guys. We got her in, and uh, yeah, she fits perfect. Looks good, nice and clean. I mean, this whole sled was, I mean, other than the problems, I mean, it was fairly clean, just, you know, it's covered in a lot of grime, like normal. But uh, yeah, that's her, she's in. Everything's uh, where it's supposed to go. Uh, we are getting close here to putting the engine in, and then after that, I will be finding a clutch, cleaning them both up, and then belly pans, bumper, and hood, and exhaust. That's it. We're getting close. <clears throat> so that is the empty space. So that's it. Just wanted to show you guys the um, just the cleanup and uh, reinstallation and reapplication of the thermal tape and what it looked like installed. So. All right, thanks a lot, guys. Uh, we will see you in the next video. Don't forget to like, share, comment. Um, yeah, the whole nine yards. Thanks for the support. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next video. Come on back.